What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about the full measure. The full measure is basically about this group of guys, or company one, that were, uh, were in Vietnam and they were surrounded, or they should say, they were ambushed by the, the Viet Cong and um, and one of the uh, the army, and I guess I would say the put the platoon or the, the uh, infantry man. They had one of the guy, actually the airmen. When you find out, one of the uh, air force guy wanted the man who went down on on the field went down the field with the arm with the uh, infantry man. With the troop, and he helped kind of fix some of the guy up, and actually fought the war. You know, be part of it when he would not, he would he was not required to fight because that was not his mission role. So that's kind of the story and tell and how it, it's that's how it's being told. What did I like about this? That it is emotional, it's real, it's authentic. That you can tell some of these guys has actual post traumatic disorder, and that they all these guys are struggling, you know, are really struggling to live their life after coming back from wars, trying to have a family, trying to start, trying to get their life back on track. And what I also like is that you get a little bit of time with each of the veterans that was part of that mission that one day 30 seconds ago you know 30 years ago 30 seconds at that moment you know that that day that month a day year 30 years ago and that minute uh, i guess a third what was it like 20 30 minutes of that that all happened and you get to see how some of these guys break down some of these guys were able to commit, commit, admit that they were wrong. Uh, they they feel bad. They feel ashamed of what really happened. So I like that because they really show that they're one. They're human. They are suffering. The, uh, they are, they could, they are suffering the human condition, and they are trying to amend for what happened. They're trying to understand what happened, and they try to. Um, make it better so to speak try to how do you cherish that person or cherish that event and that's what happened here and i also like our uh, antagonist our reporter our dc reporter i believe he was and he kind of goes through this he kind of clueless but eventually you see that he grows and he become understanding he that he he realized that there's need to be told there's need to the person peter's a pissing a pissing burger need to be recognized the by DOD the Department of Defense for his bravery bravery his call he went on be, beyond the call of duty that's what so that's what I like about this movie what I did not like about this movie is that they kind of sort of use the same clips maybe a little from different point of view. Um, that's kind of it. That's the only thing, the only gripe I had is that I wish we got a little bit more from each of these certain individual from their point of view. Kind of like Vantage Point or Crash or Babel. That would be interesting. That would be cool to see, to truly understand what happened. And in this movie, you don't really quite get it. You get a lot of, well, a lot of commentary. That's all you really get. I mean, I understand that they were there, but it was nice to actually see it. From the from the guy's point of view, yeah. So that's what I that's you know, my only uh, pickiness, uh, being picky there. So what was the rating I give this movie? I give it a, a seven out of ten. Uh, I'm kind of leaning toward an eight, but it, it, to me right now it's a seven out of ten. It is a good movie. It is a good war movie. It is a good authentic movie. Is that? Like, if you are a war, uh, not a war fan, but you are an aficionado of war history, then you should watch this movie. You will appreciate it. You will enjoy it. You will have a better understanding of what some of these 
our servicemen go through. So anyway, guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content on there for you guys to check out. All right. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.